This is Sean's story. I've been assigned to do an A check on the number one engine of an A320. I've done that a lot at no biggie. I followed the job car procedures, which requires the activation of a hydraulic thrust reverser using a safety pin in the control unit. Working through the job card and making the inspection, I found a few discrepancies that had to be worked. Minor things, really. But it took some time, and I had to go to the manuals and search for more information. As time passed, it was coming up on time for push-outs, and I still had to run up the engines for leak checks. So about then is when I became rushed and missed reactivating the thrust reverser hydraulic control unit. I didn't realize my mistake until I was in my car on the way home and the aircraft was already airborne. Of course, I immediately called the station manager on my cell and explained the problem. He said he'd contact the tower and do what he could to notify the pilot. I went home, but I sure did not feel good about things. Well, I learned the next day that the aircraft had landed safely at its destination but the number one thrust reverser didn't deploy, and the crew said they had a hard time stopping the plane, but they didn't overshoot or anything. What I learned is that, obviously, I need to pay more attention to my work and try to avoid situations where I feel rushed. Still, it would have been helpful if there had been a remove-before-flight streamer on the deactivation pin. I would have seen that when I was closing the fan cowl. Also, the job card doesn't say remove the pin as part of the process. It only says restore the aircraft to normal and it doesn't have a line item to do an operational check of the thrust reversers. Maybe you could blame Sean for leaving the lockout pin in the thrust reverser, but there seems to have been other contributing factors. Look through the list of the dirty dozen, shown at the right, and select at least three of those you believe are relevant to Sean's mistake. Explain how they are relevant and important. Write as much as you like, and when you are satisfied with your answers, click the Submit button.